Hey, what's up guys? This is Bharat. You're watching iGAN and today we're going to be unboxing something really exciting. It's the AGM X1. So let's get started. Now this phone inside this box costs about 279 US dollars and it ships for free to India. And luckily again, we didn't get charged any custom duty. So I'm going to drop a link to the website we got it from in the description below and you can go buy yourself this phone in case you're interested. Now the AGM X1 is supposedly a outdoor rugged phone. It comes with an IP68 rating, which was enough for us to get excited with this phone. But it also has a massive 5,400 milliamp hour battery for about 279 US dollars which is roughly 18,000 Indian rupees. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So inside the box, the first thing is the phone itself. I'm gonna drop it to the side real quick. And inside the box, you'll get a quick charging wall charger. You'll also get a really high quality USB to micro USB cable. Now this is in a separate or in a different orange color. It looks really nice and it's of a really good quality. You also get some earphones. Now they seem to be really standard earphones and they do have in-ear type earplugs. You also get an online or an inline microphone along with a button to send and receive calls. They've also included a screen protector for your device. So that is convenient. And you won't really need a case with this phone because it's quite rugged. It's shock and dust proof along with being waterproof at IP68. So let's take a look at the device itself. Now over at the front, you have a 5.5 inch display. Now this is a super AMOLED display made by Samsung. So it's the same display they use in their smartphones at 1920 by 1080p, which is full HD and gives you a pixel resolution or a pixel density of 401 pixels per inch. Now above that is a five megapixel front facing camera along with the earpiece and some sensors. Over at the bottom is a fingerprint sensor that sits in the center. Also acts as your home button, but it's not a physical button. You can't really press it. It uses touch sensitivity to create a home button type of feel. You also get a back button and a multitasking button. Also, they give you these rubber grommets to cover up your ports. So over at the bottom, you get a 3.5 mm headphone or audio jack along with your micro USB charging port. Now over the right is the power button. And uh, above that again is a rubber door, which when you pull out, you get the dual hybrid tray, which allows you to pop in either two SIM cards or a single SIM card and a micro SD card the exact capacity of micro SD card supported by this device is 128 gigabyte. Now you can use either a CDMA SIM card or a GSM SIM card. It does support LTE in India. I don't know about VOLTE or voice over LTE and I'll explain that in just a bit. Now there's nothing on the top of the device. On the left is where your volume buttons are. Again, all these buttons are metallic and this whole body of the phone is made out of this rubber toughened or rugged material and it feels really solid. The overall shell is a steel based alloy. Now over at the back is where your dual cameras are, 13 megapixel cameras and you also get a dual tone LED flash along with a secondary microphone that sits on the back of the device. You can see they have this AGM logo in the center as well as at the bottom. You've got these uh, rivets that hold the back door in place and uh, it definitely looks the part. It feels really nice in the hand as well. Now running everything is a Snapdragon 617, which is an octa-core chipset. You get 1.5 gigahertz on octa-cores, which is the highest peak. And then you also get four gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabyte of onboard storage. Like I said, you can pop in a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. Now, interestingly enough, there's also a massive 5,400 milliamp hour battery inbuilt and with quick charge 3.0, it charges to about 80% in just one hour, which is uh, pretty fast uh, in comparison to many of the other devices in the market. Since this is a 5,400 milliamp hour battery, 85% charge is an incredibly good amount in about an hour. Now the disappointing aspect of this phone and the only real disappointing aspect of this phone is the fact that it's still running Android 5.1.1. The company's already promised an Android 7 update that should be rolling out as we speak. They said that they'll roll it out after the Chinese New Year and the Chinese New Year is just about ended and ending in certain areas. As soon as that ends, they will push out an update to Android 7 and I'm really looking forward to what that will look like on this device. That being said, it is extremely responsive and fast bearing that it's still running the Snapdragon 617. We tried to play a bunch of games on this. It's fast and responsive. Benchmark scores are pretty good as well for the chipset that it is. You get about 45,000 on Antutu along with decent scores on Geekbench as well. 
So all in all, a pretty impressive device from AGM for about 18,000 rupees. The great factor about this is it's for people who are really ruthless with their phones. They don't really want to take care of their phones. You can truly throw this phone around, use it in rain or swimming with you or use it at a holy party or whatever and this phone should survive without any problems. The display is nice and bright, looks great outdoors. We are waiting for the Android 7 update because that will really tell us how this phone will perform in today's scenario. Uh, but the fact that it runs dual SIM cards and it will run any sort of SIM card, uh, the company should give you support for VOLTE as well. So all of that should be covered with the device. As far as the operating system is concerned, zero bloatware has been installed. It's running a completely stock Android and they'll continue to do that with the Nougat update as well. So you'll get a completely stock Nougat experience, almost like a Nexus device, which again makes me really happy. So no third party apps, no third party softwares, no customizations, only an outdoor tools app, which has been made by AGM, which contains things like pressure sensitivity, a protractor, a ruler, a magnifier, certain things that you may need outdoors. You also get temperature pressure sensors in the device. So all of those things give you a really good outdoorsy phone or a rugged phone. And if you're looking for that, this phone is definitely it. So we'll be doing a full review for this device. Of course, we'll be testing the IP68 rating as well as the rugged rating of this phone. So stay tuned for that. If you have any special requests for this device, again, drop them in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to buy this phone in case you're interested and where I got it from in the description below as well. So if you're interested in buying it, you can do that. This has been Bharat. If you haven't already got yourself an iGAN t-shirt, it's time to get them now. And I'll leave links to buying the iGAN t-shirt in the description below as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, don't forget to like. And if you love the video, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.